Hello all, Shoestring here. Today what we're going to talk about is putting two batteries into parallel, but we're going to do two batteries of different sizes. At the moment we're going to be using these WISE batteries. I have this full size LIFO 4 12.8 volt 100 amp hour. This is actually a group 31. That's the size of it. And then we're going to be connecting it to this WISE battery, which is also Life Point 4 and 12.8100. But this is a mini. It is 25%, about 25% smaller than this one. Now, I recommend that you put batteries of the same type together, not but not of the different chemistries. So putting two lithium batteries together is okay. I would not recommend you put a lithium battery and a lead acid battery, either a wet lead acid or an AGM, because the chemistry between the two is different. With these, though, the chemistry, even though the size is different, the chemistry the same, and the battery management system is also going to function the same way in both for both of these the battery management system is a hundred amp hours so it should be okay to put these two together and it should operate just like two batteries of the exact same model type and size so you can see from up here it gives you directions, in case you don't know how to do it, how to put batteries together in parallel and series. We're going to do parallel today, which will be red to red and black to black. All right, let me show, turn these around and I will show you how to do that. Okay, so first thing we want to do is make sure they are both fully charged. Okay, there's two ways you can do that. You can use your pre-programmed charge controller, like this one right here, or you can take a battery charger. Since I'm using WISE batteries, I'm using this WISE battery charger. It's a 14.6, so it is made to charge these. Now, unlike lead-acid batteries, where the voltage needs to be exactly the same, these batteries simply have to be charged entirely up, and it will be sufficient. You charge them completely. With a battery charger, it's pretty simple. You just connect them. It's blue, and then when it's charged, it's all the way up, it turns green, and you don't really even need with a lithium to check the voltage. You just have to make sure they're charged all the way up, which is this one just did, because I normally keep my batteries charged all the way up. Now we'll do this one. Same thing, it'll turn blue, and since I know it's already charged... We're going to give it just a second, and there it is. It also is charged all the way up. And that's all you have to do to make sure the voltage is good. The next thing you want to do is make sure your cable connection is as short distance as possible. So since we're going to be doing this parallel, we're going to do red to red, and black to black, or positive to positive, negative to negative. I normally do the positives first, but I have found doing this over the years, it really doesn't matter. Okay, now since this is just showing you how to do it, I'm uh, only going to make it finger tight. But if you're doing this for a setup that's going to be used for a while, I suggest you tighten it very well with a wrench. These uh, batteries here and some other ones not just a wrench, but you can also use a screwdriver. You see right there, it's made to be used with a screwdriver. And you can do that, which is also very good. And 
And that's all you have to do. So both these batteries are now in parallel, which means you still have 12.8 volts, but instead of 100 amp hours, you have 200 amp hours of storage. Now let's talk about charging these. When they're together like this, how I would recommend you charge them is you take your battery charger and you take the positive on one battery and then the negative on another battery and that way you can get equal charge. Now we know the batteries are already charged up. I have just done it. But show you again this is this is how you do it to get make it the most efficiently as possible also if you're using a charge controller and you're doing it through a solar panel you can do basically the same thing you take it now you can do it on the same battery depending on distance it will still charge it it just won't charge it efficiently you will still do it Now, as you can see, the battery's charged all the way up. Or I can take this positive and put it on this battery, which would be more efficient if I had the space and length to do that. If you're going to use a charge controller, remember, make sure it will do lithium batteries and program it to between 14.3 or 14.6, depending on what your manual for your battery says. These happen to say 14.6, so that's how this is set up. And always connect your charge controller first. Because if you connect the battery first, I mean, the solar panel first, you could burn your charge controller out. So connect the battery first. Okay, now connecting it to your inverter, regardless if it's a small inverter or it's a large one. This is a little 500 watt pure sine wave inverter and to make sure it drains from both of them efficiently and at the same amount what i would do is the same i showed you with the charge controller connect one battery negative and then the other battery positive and that way it will drain them both efficiently and as equally as you're going to get we'll go ahead and turn it on and as you can see, the light came on. It is now on. And that's how you do two batteries that are of different size, but the same chemistry. Now, I've spent some time experimenting with this and working with this system before I showed you how to do it. And I can tell in my testing no difference between the different size of these WISE batteries. So I'm going to go ahead and put a link to both these batteries. Take a look, see if it's interested to you. Oh, Wise did not send me the batteries for this video. Right? And uh, they didn't approve it ahead of time. I'm making no money off this. So um, occasionally my links will give me a few cents if you click on it and buy it from there. That will help the channel. But other than that, I don't get any money for any of this. Okay, so I just do this because I like showing folks how I do things and how it works on solar. All right, so if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. And Schuster out.